Hello everybody, my name is Rojo, and it is time once again for Rojo-tober. This is... Carrier. Hey, Carrier, I barely even know her. <laughs> anyway, this is a fully 3D survival horror game for the Sega Dreamcast, developed by... and released in 2000 that is in no way similar to... Resident Evil. Also, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I have it on good authority that if you can hear this... Omaiwa mo shindaru. R.I.P. in peace, friend. The game comes with a pretty alright full-color manual that describes some of the characters and gear and all that good stuff, as well as some plot background and, of course, uh, some details on how to play. We will be taking on the role of Jack Ingalls, who is a Special Forces guy sent with a scientist named... Jessifer... I don't think that's a real name, and yet, here it is right before my eyes. Very well, Jack is sent with a scientist named Jessifer to investigate some strange business happening aboard an aircraft carrier. Haha, -ha. very clever game. Let's begin. By the beginning of the 21st century, the North-South conflict had escalated to military confrontation. The people of the countries of the South, faced with an energy crisis and a food shortage, had developed a deep-seated hatred for the North. And as a result, anti-North terrorist groups began to show up all over the world. In response, the countries of the North joined together to create the Northern Hemisphere Treaty Alliance, NTA. The goal of this organization was to stop the Southern terrorists. In 2023, the NTA completed construction of the Heimdall aircraft carrier. With its stage defense system and connection to the satellite defense system, the Heimdall is like a steel wall, invulnerable to any sort of air-based attack. The first mission for the Heimdall was to attack the base of the Southern Cross terrorist group. This was called the Hurricane Mission. During an attack that lasted only a few days, the base was completely destroyed and the Heimdall was able to head back to its home port in North America. However, approximately two days of travel from port, the Heimdall fell silent, failing to respond to any communication from NTA. Concerned about the Heimdall, a Spark investigation team was put together and sent to determine what happened.
Why? Why did they shoot us down? Leonard, Lieutenant Manning, am I the only one that made it? Is that... Leonard? Jack. Leonard, are you okay? Hang on. Looks like my leg's no good. Your leg? Don't move it. I'll take care of it. This is Colonel Burke. Spark Team, do you copy? Colonel Burke, Jack. Jack, you're a bit late. Have you finally landed? Colonel, the helicopter was attacked. What? What? So that was the big noise I heard earlier. We weren't attacked when we landed. It must be the work of Southern Cross. We don't know about that. For now, we must begin the investigation. And the other members? Are they okay? I don't know where Lieutenant Manning is. She's disappeared. The pilot Leonard is with me now, but he's badly injured. I see. See if you can find a first aid kit and do what you can for Leonard. When you're done, begin your investigation. Yes, sir. I don't know what's going on, but it's clear that things are not what they seem. <laughs> Maybe Leonard is safer on the flight deck. Yeah, I'll leave him here. I'll check the ship and bring back any first aid supplies I can find. I'm counting on you. We'll get back to the investigation on this end. Lang should be checking the ship data in the security room. When you're done, catch up with him and see what he's discovered. Then, continue your investigation. Yes, sir, Colonel. Be careful. Wait for me, Leonard. I'll get a first aid kit. Oh! Oh! I'm oh. sorry, Jack. I'll be right back. Hang on, okay? Now, I could have gone for the Japanese voice acting, but I would never deny you all the pleasure of the English experience. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looking a little green, sailor. Leonard! Damn! Why doesn't it move? What? Who the hell are you? What the hell's going on? Leonard was... By that? Please, work! Leonard, I'm sorry. I wish I could have done something. What the hell is going on here? What the hell indeed? And with that, we get our first opportunity to play the game here. We can aim with our uh, our weapon here. We've got a, uh, a pistol as well as uh, another weapon. And the cool thing is we can actually pick out different uh, locations to shoot on enemies. We should be cautious for exactly that reason right there. You never know when they're going to get back up. I think this time, though, he's going to stay down. Especially if he disappears. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> welcome to Carrier. 
we were uh, stuck on a uh, weapon, a big weapon of an aircraft carrier, and uh, things are <laughs> not what they seem. So we should begin our investigation now. If uh, it hasn't become obvious so far when I said this game was nothing like Resident Evil, I lied to you. <laughs> um, you can control with uh, the D-pad or the um, the uh, joystick. It's a little easier with the D-pad, I think. Let's explore, shall we? Maybe Leonard's still alive. I have no idea. You know, I've actually I've played through some of this game many years ago when I got it, and I don't remember really anything about it um, other than some stuff from a, just a little bit of brief research I did. So, uh, yeah, we're going to look around here. Now, we do actually have a second weapon, which is this welder. This is our kind of like our backup weapon. And it's what we'll use if we uh, feel like ammo is going to be sparse, which I expect it probably will be to some extent. There is music in this game, but it's used uh, sparingly, at least from the little bit that I played. I played, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes of the game just to get used to things here. So far, though, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not terrified yet, but perhaps... Perhaps in time. When you use the D-pad, you do walk by default here. But uh, if you hold X, you can run, at least with the default controls. And the camera is handled automatically, like it is in Resident Evil. Although, this is a uh, this is a fully 3D game, like I mentioned, so... It uh, stands out a little bit in that way, I guess, rather than being displayed on uh, pre-rendered backgrounds. Well, this is a spooky hallway if ever I've seen one. Isn't it, Jack? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, what have we got here? We've got medical this way, portside elevator the other way. That's where we came from. I don't think there's any other way to go, really. Uh, we do actually have a, a menu here where we can look at our equipment. We've got uh, some pistol mags. I don't know how these work, if it's just going to refill my bullets or if it's going to take like a whole mag um, every time I reload. So I'm going to be cautious with that. And then we have these energy drinks. A little Red Bull to, to perk you up, I guess, or whatever your favorite uh, energy drink is. I'll restore some HP, which is on the bottom of the, uh, the screen there. Uh, I don't know what look does exactly. And we've got different notes and stuff here and a, uh, a map of the Heimdall as well. For the, uh, the various decks, but we don't actually have any real data right now. If you're wondering what the uh, the v VMU does, the visual memory unit of the uh, Dreamcast, uh, when the game loads up, it gives you a uh, little <laughs> intro screen, and then uh, during gameplay, it just gives you a uh, little heart meter to indicate your status. Nothing, uh, nothing too critical, though, so you're not missing anything there as far as I know. I'll try to pay attention to it. If anything else pops up, but uh, I'll probably miss it, honestly. All right, let's explore this uh, this carrier. It is locked. A3, okay. A little tense going down these hallways, because at the moment, we can't really see <laughs> what's, uh, what's ahead of us, if anything. Can I read this sign? I'm trying. Oh, no, here we go. I get a little, get a little closer. So we were supposed to find somebody in the security room. I forgot what his name was already. <laughs> uh, and then we've got the uh, the medical bay that way, which I, I'm going to guess is that locked room. Just a hunch. This is also locked, actually, by the looks of things. Yep, A1. And there's something on the ground here. But it doesn't seem like I can pick it up. I think items are usually highlighted for you with a, like a little arrow or something. Oh, this is open. So, uh, we can at least, ooh, use this. This doesn't look trustworthy at all. Let's use this welder and... No? Are you sure? I don't believe you. <laughs> well, let's, let's cool it and let's see what's going on in here. Who is it? It's me, Lang. Jack? I heard from the Colonel that you were shot down by the intercept system. I never thought I'd become the target of my own team. It's hard to believe. 
I'm checking the system, but it only seems to get worse. At this rate, the whole ship will be affected. By the way, what happened to Lieutenant Manning? Did the lieutenant bite it or what? We were separated. I don't know what happened. As for the helicopter pilot, he was attacked by some sort of monster. He's dead. Monster? What do you mean? Huh? You didn't see them? The monsters that look like humans? No, I haven't seen anything. At least not on my way here. The intercept system's gone haywire. Something very strange is happening here. And if we don't figure out what's going on soon... <sighs> anyway, the Colonel's on Deck 3. Dr. Noble should be on his way to the lower decks. But I haven't heard from him. For now, we need to join the Colonel. Yes, sir. I'm trying to open the partition to Deck 2, but I need two more activation disks. There are two more disks like this one on Deck 1 somewhere. Jack, see if you can find them. Meanwhile, I'll see what I can find around here. Uh, okay. Good old uh, modern technology being run by a floppy disk. Why not? Yes, sir. There should be an ID card in the medical room in this area. Here, take this. You should stock up on medicines in case of an emergency. Yes, sir. All right, so this is Lang, I guess. Um, he might have an entry in the manual. If he does, I'll try to show a little something real quick here. But, uh, yeah, he didn't bat an eye when I said that there were monsters here, which concerns me a little bit. I, uh, I would be concerned about Jack being fit for duty at this point. <laughs> if, uh, if I had heard that, but, uh, you know, I'm not in command, I guess. Now, this is what I was talking about with items being kind of highlighted for us. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a digital video tape of some kind. We'll find something to play uh, that on later, I think. And uh, the A3 ID card. Okay, so we can at least get into that other room now. And this, I believe... Uh, yeah, is a, uh, a save point. So let's go ahead and drop a uh, save right there. I'm not going to be able to uh, to make very many of these, unfortunately. Just due to the... Uh, it takes up like 20-something blocks, so I can make maybe three saves with the amount of space I have on this uh, memory card. But uh, that should be enough, hopefully. Um, is there anything else in here? Doesn't seem like it. No, I don't I don't think there is. Can I, uh, can I talk to you again, if I want to? This computer's running wild! It won't tell me anything about the ship. The security lock is complicated. What a pain. You better bring those disks soon. There's not much time. I don't know if there's a time limit on anything in this game. I kind of hope there's not. All right. So now we're out of here. Are those guys... Wrong way. Are those guys still down? So far, I don't trust it. But for now, I want to do one thing, which is re-equip my pistol. And uh, was it this one that I can go in? No, it was the uh, the other one down this way that I can get into now, I believe. Let's take a look. Excellent. And I guess we don't need the ID card anymore, so we can get rid of that. I think we could have looked at it in our inventory, but I uh, don't know if it would have given us anything. Ah! What happened? What's going on? Hey, are you okay? Stop! Don't get any closer! Who are you? Are you infected too? I'm Sergeant Ingalls. I'm part of the Spark team sent to investigate the ship. What are you doing here? Spark? You're a little too late. This is not a human anymore. Here, take a look with this. What is it? All right, well, we're gonna learn exactly what this is, I suspect. Uh, and I guess there's no voice acting. Oh, we got a little little tattoo on our arm, too, it looks like. I'm not sure what it's of. Uh, developed by the NTA for infantry in the case of biological warfare, can be used to identify non-human life forms. Oh. 
Uh, see in the dark and uh, see through some objects as well. Danger. Very well. So this is one of the cool, unique things about the game is we get this scope. What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Don't you believe what you see? I am Terry. <laughs> The Ship Doctor! <laughs> I was finally able to capture one of these, these things alive and conduct some experiments, but the ship is already full of them! What? I tried to analyze this one, but it's too late. There is nothing I can do. Ark is the cause of everything! What? <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? It... it is all because of Ark! Ark? This monster looks like a human, but... but it's not. It's an inferior life form! Jesus, Terry. Hey, stop! Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm <laughs> perfectly sane. Oh. And you? <laughs> Are you really a human? You're not. <laughs> Ark. Hey, wait. What are you talking about? What's Ark? Look around you. <laughs> you have arrived in hell. I... I can't trust anyone anymore! Soon, soon, you too will feel the hopelessness. <laughs> God damn, Terry. <laughs> oh shit. Run away. I can't, can't see him. Oh God. <laughs> well, we can at least push him. All right. And hopefully, yeah, you... You... you stay there. Alright, how much damage is, uh, getting bit do? Not, uh, not too much from this guy. So I think we're, uh, we're kinda okay there. I'm gonna switch back to this. What do, uh, what do we got here? If I can... grab this thing. Anything? A little closer this way? Hey, there we go, an A1ID card. And, uh... Three level one energy drinks. So now I think we have five, which is pretty good, I guess. Um, yeah, so we can look at stuff here. Digital videotape with uh, nothing written on it. We've got our, our scope and uh, we've got a crew ID card to unlock door A1. Fair enough. Now, if I hit B, we can use our scope and uh, look around all these rooms. And if there are items, they'll be highlighted or if uh, there's enemies, I suppose they'll be highlighted as well. Is there something? Object. There's an object here. Uh, I think you're, I think you're lying to me. Unless there's something like, ah, there's something there. Certainly. Let's take a look at this. Record of research. Um. Okay. Medical staff Terry Adams, Captain McGregor, called a meeting to discuss the parasitic outbreak on the ship caused by an explosion in the engine room. The development department has suggested that the parasite may be, in fact, in the ancient organism Ark. I have made several attempts to cure the victims of the parasite, but regardless of what I do, the patients have expired. My efforts have changed from curing the patients to trying to understand what has happened to them. The results of my research are as follows. April 5th, looking first at a subject whose skin had turned green, I discovered a yet unknown virus. Perhaps the vi this virus is also the cause of the patient's violent behavior. April 6th, a member of the crew who came to my office became violent and attacked me without warning. I had to shoot him after an examination of the body. I discovered he was also infected. Uh, in this case, there were no visible signs of infection. What am I to do? If I can't tell the difference, I won't be able to trust anyone. April 7th, I've acquired the new BEN uh, T3N scope. Uh, Bemton? Bemton scope, maybe? <laughs> With it, I can tell the difference between those who are infected and those who are not. 
Next, I will capture one and dissect it alive. That's a little, a little dark, Terry. I guess maybe it's what the circumstances call for. Oh, shit. We're being attacked by zombie carrots. Run away. Run away. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? Zap them. Anybody else? Want a piece of the old uh, welder? Become welded, my friend. There you go. Was there another one? Were there two or were there three? I don't know. Seems like I got them all, actually. Fair enough. I don't know what the hell <laughs> those things are. What do we have? Nothing useful here. Okay. And uh, this is as far as I played when I was just testing things out. I suppose, though, I'm going to get out of here. And, uh, I guess I can go back and check, uh, maybe check A1. That's where I came in. Don't want to go that way. I think I better get my pistol back out just in case here. And, uh, we can look down hallways now as well. Aha. Hello, friend. Woo. Spicy. I think he's going to get back up, so I'm going to just hang out right here. Yeah. So we want to try and shoot these guys in the face, I assume. Oh, God. I don't think there's any uh, counter move to, like, get guys off you faster. It's best to just not get hit. Okay, you should be definitely dead. And hopefully you are dead, too. I don't think they get back up after you weld their heads off. How are, how are we looking here? Let's try, um, I know this is survival horror, but, uh, let's try uh, one of these and see how we do. So, I'm going to guess that gives us, what, like maybe 25% of our HP? Something like that. Anybody else down here? No, I think we're good. So, we've opened up this now. What? Everything's covered with plants. Yes, everything is covered with plants. I saw a, uh, a horror film where something like this happened once. Well, <laughs> or quote unquote horror. Some kind of B movie. I <laughs> don't remember what it was called. Uh, I think I'm not going to go this way, though. I think uh, it's in my best interest to perhaps go back into. Uh, Lang's room and save the game. Luckily, uh, at least as far as I know anyway, there's no uh, limit on how many times you can save. So uh, I'm going to use that to my advantage. I think this is the door, right? Yes. Do you have anything new to say? Hello? Come on, hurry up. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, we've begun our investigation, but uh, at the moment we've got, honestly, more uh, more questions than uh, than answers. So uh, I think we got a lot of work to do if we want to figure out what's going on in this aircraft. Carrier. 